the Ottomans, one of the greatest nations to ever grace the planet. Conquesting far and wide from Southern Europe, Northern Africa, and Eastern Asia, the Citadel of Constantinople, the stronghold of the Ottoman Empire. We examine how the Ottomans were able to conquer over 800,000 square kilometers in a time period where violence, sieges, and barbarism dominated the world. In our beloved game, Age of Empires, we will take a look and see some of the historical accuracies of the units, the culture, and economic reforms that took place in the Ottoman Empire. This crossroads of Africa, Egypt, and Europe was a vibrant and rich place where philosophy, science, and mathematics flourished. Military infrastructure and military compositions also developed greatly under the Ottomans. The one thing standing in the way from the unstoppable tide of Islam was itself. Consisting of many ethno groups, such as the Mamluks, the Assassinids, the former Byzantine Empire, Eastern and Southern European countries, such as the Hungarians and Viennese, spanning from Hungary, Yemen, Algeria, Iraq. Suleiman the Magnificent conquered many lands and many people. And oftentimes the Ottomans were feared and even hated by groups. We will start by discussing some of the military units that were used for the Ottomans. Most notably, the heavy infantry, the Janissary, a new soldier of elite infantry. The Ottoman Sultan's household troops and first modern standard army in Europe. Conscripted from a young age, these child slaves often Albanian, Bulgarian, Croatian, Greek, Roman, and Serbians of Christian origin were converted to Islam. Taken from their families, these slaves became elite soldiers. They were paid unlike other slaves, and their family or their fellow Janissaries. These cohesive units were expert archers, adopting firearms in the early 1400s. Experts in melee using axes or kilgis, which are the swords displayed in the Age of Empires. Not only were they expert soldiers, but they were incredibly cunning and intelligent military engineers. Known as sappers or engineers, these janissaries would often fill trenches, dig trenches, fill moats, create flanks, and most notably of the Ottoman military tactics, dig mines. In many sieges, when the Janissaries and Barbary Corsair and Barbary units would fill the front lines and other units would besiege down on great walls and bastions 100 to 200 meters thick while great bombards pounded the walls day and night, the Janissaries would go underground digging behind the walls and then besiege the gates and flood in an unstoppable 60,000 Janissary army. These Janissaries were not the only backbone for the Ottomans. The Spahi, Kapakulu Corps of six cavalry units feared for their relentless stampede. The Great Bombard would shoot granite balls weighing 260 kilograms, 570 pounds of pure destruction, weighing 3,325 kilograms, or 7,000 pounds. The Janissaries also would use land masses to overcome water and move these huge instruments of war. This is aught supported by the other military units, such as the Abyss Gunner, pronounced obus, meaning howitzer, 
the small but heavy weapons on tripods fired 3.8 to 11.5 kilograms of power or 8.5 to 25 pounds of artillery. They were mostly used as anti-infantry skirmishers, but due to their large mass and size of the weaponry, 10 men often operated together in units on the flanks. Furthermore, before the Remeliots were implemented into the game, the Bastanshi Hussar, gardeners in the mere common land, were member of the imperial units in the empire. They were often tasked with protecting the palace, the premises, and were given the nomadic, powerful rank of Pasha. The Ottomans were also incredibly clever, using their janissaries and sappers to create land bridges, moving vast ships across land to get into oftentimes advantageous flanks where their galleys could siege towns, destroy navy blockades and chains that would hold up sea walls surrounding from all sides. The Ottomans were truly feared. Furthermore, the Azap, pronounced Azeb, were bachelors conscripted at youth, forbidden to marry until the age of 40. They were used as light infantry to harm auxiliary pieces. They were known as pirates or buccaneers. These marine soldiers used pole arms, war scythes, halberdiers, maces, bows, sabers, and sometimes crossbows. The accuracy of these units is astounding. When we look at the town center, the Minutemen, the Bashabozuk, they were translated into damaged head or crazy head. Leaderless and disorderly irregular soldiers, which were raised in times of war from Albania and the Circassians, they were oftentimes enslaved. The villager multiplier that we see is actually somewhat historically based, as they often looted and preyed upon civilians due to their undisciplined and unorganized behavior. These savages murdered and massacred villagers. It's not until the fall of the Russo-Turkish War that we start to see the Nizam Fusiliers, or the nizam e jadid army. This military reforms were largely effective. After 1787 through 1792, the Ottomans recognized that their anachronistic military would not stand. These powerful Western drilled musketeers were sent to remove Napoleon upon the invasion of Egypt and the loss of the Mamluks. The Nizams were also seen aiding the British and were led by Ibrahim Pasha, the leader of the Nizam Fusiliers. Their death knew no bounds. When the Ottoman Empire would besiege and finally succeed in taking down fortresses and kingdoms, the Akinci also known as the cavalry archers, would raid constantly, and most notably in the siege of Baghdad, they completely destroyed Baghdad. The city burning to ash, villagers and people, women and children were ransacked, raped, murdered. No one was alive. Over two million Iraqis were killed. The only European forces to hold off the powerful, seemingly invincible Ottoman army with the Hungarians. Venetia fell. Austria fell. Russia was able to hold its own with its powerful Cossacks and cavalry archers. Transylvania, Wallachia, and Moldavia became tributaries. Mesopotamia fell. The Ottomans were seen oftentimes allying themselves with the French as they looked north to the Habsburgs in Spain and Southern Europe. King Francis and Suleiman I were commanded by Ottoman admirals, Haridian, Barbarossa, and Dragut. These admirals were feared in their campaigns from Malta to the Red Sea. The Habsburgs finally fell and Ferdinand recognized the Ottomans in 1547. The Ottomans often clashed with Spain in Castle Nuovo in the Adriatic Sea, and in that siege, the 
the Ottomans stormed with 60,000 Janissaries and great bombards. They only lost 8,000 in 1539. Venice then surrendered, and most of its empire became part of the Ottomans. Something else that the Ottomans used to their advantage. In the Age of Empires, the latest patch, we've seen that the spies were converted into their own unique Ottoman skins. Next time you see Karim training his spy in Age 1 coming for your explorer to assassinate him for that juicy XP, note that this is actually historically accurate. The Assassinids, known for fighting off the Mongols for as long as they could, and the Ottomans, when they finally fell to the Ottoman Empire, the Assassins in the Assassinid Dynasty were used to great usage. This is the same dynasty that was featured in the series Assassin's Creed. Other units of note, the Humbarachi. Named for a similar projectile, the Hami Pare, meaning metal bowl, of cast iron or bronze, these bombs were used to flank on the left and right side and circle in and encapsulating the enemy army. Today in Turkey, Hamdarachi is known for a metal piggy bank in modern Turkish language. The siege of Constantinople, the fall of the Byzantine Empire. Centuries were fought over this citadel, but none could capture or conquer such a vast army of mercenaries and land. It wasn't until Mahmoud II, offspring of the great Sulaiman, the Magnificent, was able to siege in a several month long battle. The Constantine and Byzantines were angling for help from Italy, Spain, and other European allies, as Constantinople was the last fortress before the Ottomans could reach Europe. Kings in Europe sent reinforcements to no avail. After a month, months upon months siege of great bombards, the Janissaries finally broke through and Constantinople was ransacked. Mahmed II took the Red Apple and moved the capital of the Ottoman Empire into this sprawling city.